Hello YouTubers and welcome to the last day of Henley Raw Regatta. It's finals day, it's the chance for everyone to earn their little red box. We've got the lads behind us in the four and the GB team. They're going to be storming down the track later on today, but I'm going to be going up and down the boat tie tow path to see how we get on, to see if we can give back to the Yam Squad and show off my Yam Squad jacket. And there they are, the lads in the four. Yeah, boys! but they're focused on their racing later on today. But there's a lot going on, there's going to be so many close races and we're going to see how close we can get to the action. Maybe get on a boat, probably not, but we can try, try not to fall in the water. But I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the day, so let's accompany me in the journey. And we're in the boat tents here and as you can see the racks become emptier and emptier as we progress through the regatta itself, as people get knocked out they take their boats off the rack and they go home. But the boats all left here pretty much are all the boats that will be racing today in the finals of Henley Royal Regatta. So we're going to probably grab some food because remember food is fuel and we're going to need a lot of fuel to be wandering around all day today. Oh yeah! And we've made it to Leander Club. We're going to go down the towpath and throughout the day have some fan content today. So in one, two, three, Hello, Hello YouTubers! YouTubers. <laughs> Perfect, absolutely fantastic. But we're going to go through the towpath and see how many people we can get on the vlog. Oh yeah! And we've made it to the boat tents with the guys from Scots College here, the guys who ran through that umbrella and kept their composure. Well done guys for that. And we're continuing the challenge. So one, two, three. Hello, Hello YouTubers. YouTubers! Absolutely fantastic. We're going to head out on one of the media launches now. Let's see what that entails. And we've made it into the secret bunker that gets all the filming done here for the YouTube channel for Henry Rorogata and for everything else. Right now we've got the senior New Zealand team and the senior GB team rocketing down the course for another exciting race. But they're prepping everything here for like the top picks gets edited in here and then uploaded. And we're going to see about getting on that boat. Hello YouTube world! I need to refine down and we've made it onto another boat here on the river at Henley Royal Regatta. Not quite man powered, but we'll see if we can get close to the action and get some people flying down the course. Oh my god, that was such a. And we've made it just about to the island. We've got the Mullets versus Eton College. The Mullets being from Scotch College. How will they get on? Look, look at this. This is our close race, probably one of the closest of the regatta. Looking strong, looking awesome, looking fast. Well, I wonder what the result will be at the finish line. And we've made it to the start line. We have to be really quiet, because as you can see, we've got the bows of a couple of the women's singles here. Hopefully it's going to be a great race, but we're not allowed to follow it down. Maybe we'll get some footage of them finishing off. But let's see them starting off first. Oh, yeah. a couple of the women's singles firing down the course. So let's get to the rest of the day. Oh, yeah. And we've got a new addition to the Henley Royal Regatta, the Sky Swing. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the Sky Swing here at Henley Royal Regatta. Is it a great addition? Is it not? But it seems that there are... Everyone has a friend apart from one guy. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a shame. Maybe we should get the Yam Squad to go up there and give them some company. A big boat party boat going by. Oh, yeah! A little bigger than my drone as the GB and New Zealand doubles go past now. 
I haven't made it back to the crew room after this boat tour. Looks some delicious fuel because remember food is fuel. But now we have the ladies' plate final on the TV. But let's see some other footage. How are you? First to settle. And the Dutch are ready as well. We're off and running in the ladies' challenge plate final here at Henry Regatta. This will be absolutely ferocious at the start, won't it? They'll be going hell for leather past and out of Temple Island, trying to seize the early initiative. It'll be absolutely brutal for the first couple of minutes. Absolutely, both crews high rating. Again, these are they've had really fiery races to get here. These are experienced crews, and they're young, they're ambitious. They each want to get that very special Henley medal at the end of this course that's waiting for one of the crews. Predictably, nothing in it the first couple of hundred metres. Attacking all the way. You can see a lot of exhaustion in all of the rowers here, but the Oxford Brooks guys, they had more in the tank. They attacked it from the start, and they're attacking it right to the line. Brilliantly done from Harry Brooks. And there you go. Brooks won the ladies' plate, but now to go out side. See what else the rest of it. And we've made it into the club, into the marquee at the side of the club. And it's fully packed, as you saw, nice and loud. But we're going to go for a little walk and see if we can talk to any more of the Yam Squad. Oh, yeah. And we've made it to the, back to the boat tents. We've got Brendan Edwards. Brendan and I live together. 2015. 2015, up the road in Henley. And now he is, has, his, is a winner and has won the ladies' plate. How does it feel, Brendan? Oh, it's electric, like one of the best feelings that you yeah. can have. Um, like it's been tough racing all year against yourself uh you guys beat us and we've beaten you and it was just really hard like how was the race today it was a real tough race we had a, probably one of the best starts we've done uh just about got up ahead of them and just sort of got into our rhythm started eking through a little bit they put in a big push coming through Forley, so we had our, our cocks harry brightmore he was like boys if you hang on this extra minute then we should have this so we put in a put in an extra our bit. Guts, <laughs> our guts and our blood into that last, into that fourth minute. And uh, luckily it was enough to just hang on. They put in another push through the, yeah. through the final bit and we just, we just had to go up. with it. Yeah. But yeah, it was electric. And I'm doing one other thing with people on the vlog. Yeah. Saying doing... hello YouTubers. Yeah. You ready? So one, two, three, hello, hello YouTubers. YouTubers. And thank you, Brendan. Cheers, man. Two, three, hello, hello YouTubers. YouTubers. And we've made it here to the regatta enclosure, watching some boats go down. We've got Northeastern University and Brooks University in the temple coming down now. So let's see them get off the start and come back here. Oh, yeah. Last year to University of Washington, who are the holders of this event. The umpires called them to attention. And that's a clean first stroke for both crews. Absolutely, really important to get into your rhythm down the island here. You see Oxford Brooks on the Buckinghamshire station, right with those big, fat, smoothie blades, really snappy on the catch. Northeastern, well into their rhythm, look smooth, look cool. That's Willie Lewick with the stars and stripes on his head, the 20 year old. Comes from St. Louis in America. This Northeastern crew, a multinational crew, we'll talk about them as we go down the course. Brooks looks to have taken first blood, Jess. Good start by Brooks there. I think they've just slipped a canvas on Northeastern on the top end of the screen. And that's Brooks and Northeastern going down the track there. Let's see how they are at the finish. Program crews from all ages managed to roll at the Brooks program. They've had success at Henley year after year after year. It's how you make a fantastic game from people. Might not be individual talent, but together they make beautiful, poetic music, and they're fantastic in this boat. Brooks coming up to the finish. The last few strokes of the final of the Temple Challenge Cup. Otto Brooks, Mikey Dalton takes a look. Yes, you're the Temple winner, Mikey. Northeastern crossed the line. They managed just to get a slight overlap at the end, but that wasn't good enough. And we've got Hamish Bond and Mahi Drysdale in the Kiwi come on the ground, but they're warming up right now. So let's see how they get on against the GB8. They'll be coming down in a minute. And we've got the GB8 here now, warming up as well. Yeah, the boys! 
And that's the King's Cup, lads, flying down the course. Ladets. And Ladets. Uh, the Americans versus the Germans. Pretty close race. Let's see how they get on at the finish. It's a historic race in the final of the King's Cup. And so far, the American crew look to be heading. I don't think the Germans can come back from that. In the bows of the American boat, it's midshipman second class Alexandra Valenci Martinson who's coming up to the line. She can sense it, she can feel it, she can smell the line coming up, the noise from the crowds. Here's the finish camera. The King's Cup will be won by the crew from the American Navy. The American armed forces take this historic victory ahead of the German armed forces. What a fantastic race, was it? And we've made it down the towpath to see the sky swing this bad boy right here with Big Jimmy. Oh yeah! We're gonna go on, have a little tour, have a little view of Henley Royal Regatta from the Sky Swing, a new attraction here at Henley Royal Regatta. Hey, get in, get in, Rich. Tuck yourself in. Oh, oh, I'm in. And we've made it onto the swing. Oh yeah! And we're going up. Oh. So this is taking a turn and we're, we're literally going round in a circle. We're in mid-air and I'm trying to hold on to the camera for dear life. We're going higher and, and higher. And we're going up. We're still oh. going up. Oh. <laughs> but the view is very nice. So it's a bit bouncy. Oh God. Oh my goodness. Oh, God. oh my God. <laughs> this view of the course is incredible. The view is, is incredible. Oh my goodness, I don't know if you can see it because I can't hold the camera still for long enough, but wow, it's beautiful. You can, yeah, see all the way, start to finish. Oh, maybe that slow-mo worked there, but it is a fantastic, oh, definitely worth it if you're trying to go on to the, uh, have a view of Henley from another angle if you're pretending you're a drone. We are <laughs> we are currently being a drone. Absolutely fantastic. And just before, I think it's a grand final coming down the course very, very soon. I think they might actually be on the start line right about now. Oh yeah. Now this is the moment where you really want to Attention! start. But you really kind of have to get your head straight, don't you? And then where they go? So if New Zealand are going to compete with the British 8 who beat them two weeks ago in Poznan, there is the British 8. Josh Rogowski in the stroke seat, Matt Tarrant behind him, big Oliwin Griffith in the six seat, Jacob Dawson behind him, the bulk of Mosabihi, Tom George, James Rudkin and Tom Ford up in the bows of the British 8, Cox by Henry Fieldman. The British will be quick out the blocks. There are the Kiwis up there in the bows, the distinctive features of double Olympic champion Hamish Bond, the 33-year-old. Tried to make Tokyo as a cyclist, but came back into the New Zealand eight. And the British have got a vital lead at the moment. New Zealand know they've got to hang on to the British early doors, Matt. The year old Marty Dyke drive day, multiple Olympic medals between them, adding to this as they spurred on towards the finish. Look at that, it's a display of great rowing. Really together, huge appreciation from the crowd here. And the Brits have got nothing to respond with, they're down. Come up to the finish line, it's the eight from New Zealand coming up to the finish line. The All Blacks are going to take the Grand Challenge Cup from the British on their home water. And we've made it off of the ride as the Grand Final flows past there. But definitely a little bit of something different here at Henley Royal Regatta. Beautiful views up there. But now, let's head back down the towpath with Big Jimmy. Are you? And walking down the towpath, I've got a couple of guys from the Blue Coat Reading School that we paddled with the other day. We couldn't, we couldn't go any faster than you guys paddling, but we're doing the Hello YouTubers challenge in one, two, three. Hello, Hello YouTubers. YouTubers! And there we go. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good day. And we've made it still further down the towpath. I've got some more members of the Yam Squad here. And one, two, three. Hello, Hello YouTubers. YouTubers! Absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. Have a great no, day. Thank you. Yeah, yeah boys. Woo! And we've made it to the Stewart enclosure. Wonderful stuff going on here. Oh yeah, but now it is time for the prize giving as celebration of the King's Cup. In there. And behind me, everyone assembling to go onto the grandstands back there to get their trophies for their respective events. What? 
and that is the King's Cup itself being put onto the trophy stand for the trophies being presented to all the winners later on. Even now, sitting in those seats of the gods, on the shoulders of the giants who have sat there before you for the last 180 years, you know you didn't get there alone. And now, once everyone has their trophy over on that grandstand behind me, they get to have some pictures over here with their trophies, and they get some champagne, and they get to spray it around. And that is almost us for the finish of Henley Royal Regatta. And there you go, a little bit of a celebration there for the guys from New Zealand with their big cup and trophy. But now, back to Leander Club for the last part of Henley Royal Regatta. And just going back to Leander Club now, as you can tell, the boat bays are emptying out. The boat bay area is quietening down. And then all of these tents and everything behind me, the booms, the docks here, will all be taken out until next year for Henley Royal Regatta. And then, Henley turns back into the quiet town that people don't necessarily know it for. But now it's time for the end of the Henley Royal Regatta vlog series. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, Yam Squad. Really appreciated all the support. Like I said yesterday, it's been absolutely amazing. The people shouting down the course, the people asking for selfies, the people sending positive messages we're sending that positivity around, not just to me, but throughout the Yam Squad and throughout just people you see is absolutely amazing. And thank you so much for that. But as always, Yam Squad, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button and have a good one.